Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Jason. In today's video, I'm going to show you part two on the Inside Gold app. But in this part, we're going to talk about the static IP part. So there's a few different steps that you will have to do in order to get this section to work. And I will show you two different methods how to set this section up. All right, so let's get to it. So once again, we're going to go all the way to the top and going to hit the plus. Then we got this section. So in part one, I showed you the top half, which is the site name, site ID, and Swan email. So in this one, in this video, we're going to do the, we're going to check static IP, enable static IP. The site name, you still need to type something in here. So in my case, I'm just going to type in test. You guys can name it home or your address, it doesn't really matter. But that's the only part on the top you're gonna to type something in. So now we're gonna to go to local IP. So over here, this is the IP address of your IP150. If you don't know what it is, in the description, I'll have some software that will actually tell you what it is. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna head over to the computer and I'm gonna open it up. Okay, so it's right here. It's Paradox IP Locator. I'm going to double tap, and here it is right here. Automatically, it'll pick it up right away. Fine. Keep in mind, guys, your IP could be different. So what you want to look for is your IP address. So you could, right now, you're going to write this down. The next thing we need is our public IP address. In order to find that, we're going to open up our web browser. And on the top, you're going to type in www.whatsmyip. You can do a search. There's multiple sites that will give you your IP address. So this is the one I'm picking up right here. So here's my public IP. So you're going to write this down. So once you got your IP address of your IP150 module and your public IP address, now we're going to head over back to the app. Okay, so right here, local IP address is the IP address of, of your IP150. I'm going to type mine in. Okay, so once you type that in, now the port is going to be 10,000. Okay, and the public IP is the one that you got from what's my IP. So mine, I'm going to punch it in. And once again, the port is going to be 10,000. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to hit done. Add site. And it's going to be right there. So all we have to do now is just tap it, enter your keypad code. This is the code that's on your, your front door keypad to arm it and disarm it. Then hit connect, and it should let you in. And there you guys have it. Okay, so now you could do stay, arm, everything else. Keep in mind, when you guys use the just the IP address, this will not work outside the Wi-Fi range. If you want it to for it to work outside the Wi-Fi range, you have to do port forwarding. So if you guys ain't familiar with that is let's head over back to the computer. Okay, so my modem is on bridge mode so it automatically goes to my router. So I gotta log into my router. Uh, in your case, if you don't have this, you, you have to log into your modem. So they're all pretty much the same. So what you got to do is you're going to head over to, in my case, it's the WAN. What you're going to look for is virtual server or port forwarding. Mine is right here, so I'm going to click. Okay, so what you're going to do is I'm going down to the bottom, enable port forwarding. Mine's already turned on. If yours is off, turn it off. Just to show you, it doesn't do much. 
Okay, so all you want to do is turn it on. Most modems, it's already on by default. If it's not, just click on it. Let it apply to settings. Okay, so here you go. So now we, we're down here. We need to add a profile. So we're going to add it over here. I'm just going to leave this alone. This is more for gaming and some other sites. So over here, I'm just going to punch in Paradox. I'm going to leave it TCP on. You could do both if you like, uh, but we don't need to. So now over here, over here, you're going to type in the port that we need open, which is the 10,000. Okay, some of you guys are going to have to repeat this. They need a range. If they do need a range, all you have to do is just put 10,000 again. And over here, you need to punch in the IP address. If yours is like mine, you could just punch this down and look for... Uh, Okay, here's mine right here. So it's Paradox. Everybody sees it. Mine labels it. Yours might be the actual IP address. So if you know it, just punch in the IP address instead. So there it is right there. And that's it. This source IP, I could just ignore. So all, I, all you really need is the IP address and the two ports. That's it. So now I'm going to press OK. And now just added it. And it's right here now. And it's really saved. So let me go back to the app. Okay, we're back at the app. I'm just going to turn off my Wi-Fi. So with the Wi-Fi off, let's uh, log in now. Type in our keypad code. Hit connect. And there you guys have it. So now you're able to arm it and disarm it from pretty much anywhere and you will get the also the text alerts to go with it. If you guys want to permanently keep it this way, you do not want to connect it to the Swan server to pay that yearly fee. What I do suggest is set up a DNS. This way you don't have to worry about your public IP address changing because it will change on you. Uh, unless you have a static IP, then you're fine. If you don't have a static IP, uh, that means that IP address will change. So you, in order to fix this, you have to create a DNS. So there's a couple ways of doing it. Let's go back to the browser. So what we could do is go to noip.com. I know I talked about this, uh, this service uh, on some of my other videos. So I do have an account. You can always create, sign up an account. So I'm going to do sign in. This is a free service. They give you uh, three um, host names that you could create without um, upgrading and actually paying for a uh, un unlimited service. And it's really easy to use. Okay, so right now we're going to create one and I'm going to show you how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom here. So it's just really, it's right here. The minute you log in, uh, quickly add. So over here now you're going to create one. I'm just going to name this one Jason Tech and over here it's it's going to be ddns.net. Keep in mind guys if you do have a VPN on you will have to turn it off in order for this to work. Then once you set this up then you can turn your VPN back on. So now I'm going to do is add host and right here it confirms it's been created so now if I go back to the app once again I'm gonna hit the little plus on the top same thing site name I'm gonna write test with DNS enable static IP so once again our local IP of our module port 10,000 
And now this is going to be the DNS we just created right now. I did mine, it was JSON Tech. Port 10,000. So once you're done, double check it, then hit done, then add site. Okay, so now we're going to do test with DNS. As you can see, I'm still on the LTE. My Wi Fi is turned off. Enter the keypad code. Connect. And there you guys have it. So this way, you don't have to worry about anything, any of the IP addresses ever changing on you. This is the best and safest way of doing it. The only thing by doing it this way, when you hit the three bars on the top corner, the menu bar, that's all the, the options it gives you. So you lose some of the functions of the actual app, but it will still give you the alerts. It'll still give you the login from anywhere in the world. So you'll be able to arm it, disarm it, and uh, you'll get the notifications. So guys, if you have any questions on this, please give me a comment below. You like the video, thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.